Yo, what's up? It's DNA for sure. And um, I got a question about what to do if you don't have anywhere to grow. And I honestly don't have too much of an answer for that other than growing in other people's houses. Maybe three, two or three plants and paying them and one, letting them have one plant. Or gorilla growing, which is, you know, getting your seeds and um, putting them somewhere in, in the forest or, you know, somewhere where nobody goes, like an abandoned house. If you live in an environment where you can do that, as far as there not being any small animals that'll eat it or people that'll find it. Um, you can also just try to grow it in your house. You really don't need that much light. You do need a, a good amount of light. I'm not going to lie. You need a good amount of light. But if you find out your growing techniques and exactly how much water and all of that that you need to give it and sunlight, if that lines up with you being able to grow it mostly in the house, basically up until the point where it starts to smell, take it out the pot and put it outside. You cannot do that reverse. I mean, I've told I've been told not to do that in reverse, but I've done it and nothing bad happened. Um, you can grow it for like four months in the house and the last two months outside, you know, if it's starting to get colder. Um, it's not really going to stop being ready to harvest if you put it outside. But um, another thing is one way that uh, I did not teach you guys how to flavor your weed. If you've ever smoked, if you've ever smoked Cali Chronic, if you've ever smoked um i don't really think lemon kush is uh this technique is used for lemon kush because lemons grow on lemon trees like watermelon haze strawberry haze strawberry cough um these 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 weeds these strands were grown next to plants that were fruits and vegetables that gave them that taste. Chronic has a certain oomph to it. I don't really know what to call it, but um, you can taste that it was grown in something. And there's an urban legend that uh, the original Cali Chronic was grown by a whole bunch of old ladies, somebody's grandmother, and they were growing onions and tomatoes and they're in their yards and they hid the marijuana plants in their yards when they were growing now we all know that marijuana is actually a weed that's why it's called weed and when they grew with these plants they adopted some of their taste and smell and translated into it and it translated into weed that's why some of that chronic, well, all of the chronic that I've seen, one of the homies has it right now. It has, you know, that the red hairs, and it has that, that kick to it. So if you want, for example, you can't really grow, you can grow mints in a weed plant pot, but mints... A mint plant is different from a weed plant as far as how you take care of it. But if you can find other plants that you can grow with it, you can grow some rosebush kush. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. Um, you can grow, you know, anything that, that comes in a bush. Um, I put watermelon seeds in my, in my weed pot, which didn't really flavor it like watermelon because it didn't produce juices and things like that but you can do that you can find like a, a fucking pumpkin patch or a watermelon patch or a grapevine or i don't know if lemon trees and apples trees would work with this but that's one great way and very effective way that i've found will um flavor your weed i don't suggest taking anything and putting it in your soil because that will change the pH I never I never monitor the pH of my plants 
I just know to look for the signs and to maybe put a little of this, a little bit of that in the soil. Um, when your plant gets a little yellow, you know, put a cap of milk or something in it. Do your own research. I don't, really don't want to go that deep into growing weed. But um, some of my suggestions, I was going to take, um, I was going to take, you know, a little bit of uh, tomatoes and onions and grow some Georgia Red Clay Chronic myself. Um, grapes, watermelons, fairly easy to grow and it's pretty similar to, to marijuana as far as growing it. Um, roses are the, in the same family as weed. Again, I don't suggest that I've never eaten a rose. I've seen roses be put on people's fucking food, but it wasn't for actual eating. Um, a spice garden, anything that grows big. Corn probably wouldn't be too bad. Corn is in the same family as marijuana and roses. Um... I don't know anything about trees. Another technique that you can use is, um, I'm not sure about the taste of cacti, but you can grow weed through other plants and, and objects. What do I mean? If you see a stump in your, ba in your backyard or a log and you turn it on its side, drill a hole in it, put some soil in it, if you put the weed in that's in the soil that you put in the actual stump it will grow through the stump into the ground through the roots and it will start to take over that plant same goes with a venus flytrap you take a venus flytrap and put the weed seed in it put a little fly in it it's going to start to take over the venus flytrap's root system as it gets older it's not going to be able to spit it out it's going to kill the venus flytrap and it's going to grow out of it and turn it into a marijuana plant that is some special way of growing weed um you can put it in a cactus and it will actually take the cactus over and because it's a weed and it will grow through the cactus you can I'm, i don't really recommend flavoring the venus fly trap or the cactus or the log or anything like that but i would imagine that the log would give it a piney taste the Venus flytrap, I don't, I've never, I don't know shit about Venus flytraps. And the cactus, I don't know shit about, I've never eaten a cactus or tasted a cactus. But I think it's, I would guess it's sweet, maybe because it grows flowers on it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's another really cool technique that you can use. Um, what else? What else would I recommend growing your oranges grow on trees, lemons grow on trees, apples grow on trees, anything that you can grow that grows out of the ground that's not in a tree, basically. Um, maybe if you have any flowers that you like that smell good, I'm not sure if you would want your weed to smell like that or taste like that. Just do some research. Think about not only what you like, but what's in demand around your area. Try to get your fucking animals to not piss by there. Maybe take, maybe shit because of the nutrients that are put in their food if they eat animal food and not human food. Um, raspberries, strawberries, grapes. Corn, vegetables, pumpkins, watermelons, avocados grow on trees. Um, I would see, I would try to experiment, get a seed maybe. It's like avocado, I love avocado. If you have the 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 plants, the, the seeds to spare, I would say maybe try to see if you can get a, an avocado seed drill a hole in the middle of or not in the middle in it put soil in it and put the seed on it after you germinate it and grow through it i don't know um but that's it <laughs> really it's dna for sure tips on growing weed peace